Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, something like that. So yeah, let's just see what comes up. See what comes up. Oh, there we go. Purse, pay attention to your finances. So, you know, there could be something, it could be loss of money, could be spending money. You may need to budget, you may need to realign things. Really, really pay attention to your money in the next few days. Money may be a main focus. Um, Attention, I think the attention is probably going to be on the finances in the next couple of days, right? I mean, that's what it looks like. Let's get one more. Well, I guess we're going to get two more. Wishbone. A wish will not be granted. It's, you know, it's kind of like, a, I mean, we've all, well, I don't know about everybody, but we've all went to break that, break that wishbone and it not go in our favor, you know, so it's like, damn, <laughs> right? So broken wishbone, it has something to do with money, um, Watch your purse. Caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Now, this has been coming out a lot. This and the butterfly card. So, a change is coming. Probably with the money. Maybe in the past a wish was not granted. But, pay attention to your finances. Things are going to change. Things will change. They will not always be this way. Maybe a wish didn't come true because there was protection, right? Wasn't time. Maybe there was something that had to happen first. Maybe you had to go through some sort of transformation before you could have whatever this is. I don't know. What do we have for a message today? Nine of Wands. So this is facing some sort of challenges, growing weary. You know, you've come so far, you may be feeling, you know, a little bit overwhelmed. There is probably some sort of overwhelming feeling of maybe fear or loss or, you know, what's going to happen next, that kind of thing. Um, on guard. You may be on guard. Three of Wands. So I feel like right now, I feel like you're ready. I mean, maybe you're ready to defend or you're ready to fight or you're ready to start something new. You may be on the verge of something great, okay? So don't give up. Whatever it is that, you know, has hurt you has probably taught you quite a bit and you're being tested. I feel like you are. I feel like you're being tested, okay? Do not give up, okay? Do not. Okay, the future looks bright, but it's all about your decision. That Nine of Wands is about you. It's about soul action, and this is about a decision. It's your decision where you're going. You know, you have to make up your mind. Where are you going? Are you going to stay stuck? Are you going to stay where you're at? Are you, are, you, are you ready to move forward? And if you think about that caterpillar, it's when the time is right. 
right? You break out and fly and spread your wings when the time is right. And that Three of Wands is about spreading your wings. It, you know, it really is. And this is about you, okay? That Nine of Wands is about you. So you may be growing weary. You may be needing to find that inner strength within to overcome your own challenges and completely refocus, okay? Don't let your fears or your worries hold you back, okay? Don't, don't, okay? This is your opportunity to step into new territory or to do something exciting. So anyway, somebody's being challenged to refocus. That's what we have here. I think, and it's you, okay? It's not somebody else, okay? This is, that Nine of Wands is about you, all right? Um... Emperor. The Emperor's a boss, right? Taking charge. Ready to battle. This is battle ready. Oh my goodness. You want to see what the other card is? Are you ready to be judged? There could be accountability here. This is a wake up call. This is moving on from a bad choice. But. There's a lot of fear and self-doubt, and I see it in one's own mind about the truth, perhaps. Maybe it has to do with the karmic lessons of the past. Maybe not realizing. Making a decision. I feel like there's been blaming others instead of bossing up and taking charge of one's own actions, accountability, one's own life. Judgment reversed is not accepting, not acknowledging the truth. And it is placing blame. Focusing too much on others instead of oneself. Others' imperfections. It's poor judgment. Somebody could be making a poor judgment call in the very near future or they've already made one. Well, we all have, right? Some people accept it. Some people admit it. Some people don't. But anyhow, this is about poor judgment calls. Lack of awareness, lack of acknowledgement, lack of accountability. Not forgiving, not accepting. But this is like a person, this is a high authority, making a decision. It, some, the past is deaf. It maybe has to do with the past coming back or the Something that was done in the past. It definitely has some the sort of something that was done in the past. Somebody's made a poor judgment call. A big one. I wonder if there's some sort of consequences, you know. Anyhow, we have somebody here that is ready. They're ready. They've but there's there's I mean judgment reverse. It's like not there's no chance. Like not giving something a chance making a poor judgment call. It's time to get organized. It's time to take charge. It's time to wake up. It really is. It's time to wake up in some way. This is like not answering the higher call and it's not listening. It's like there's being given a chance to do the right thing you know, or to admit something. Somebody's like not admitting. They're not admitting maybe any fault or something like that. You know, somebody may be judging themselves too harshly as well. 
fear and self-doubt getting in the way of fear, self-doubt, and blaming others is getting in the way of one's own inability to make the right decisions for themselves. Fear, self-doubt, lack of acceptance, and blaming. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. We have the Herald font reversed. Somebody that's in the past position. I made a new spread, by the way, over the weekend. Uh, the Herald font in reversed is a disgrace. This is a disgrace. It's somebody that abuses their position, abuses their power, could be a father figure, um, somebody that is having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure or beliefs or religion. Um, there's commitment issues here. I wonder if somebody has married somebody for all the wrong reasons. Um, this is some sort of disgrace relationship problems and we have somebody here that is I don't know maybe defending beliefs defending their commitment defending their uh, position it's like it's interesting I'm just going to go ahead and get some of these cards. There could definitely be a loss. There could be a financial loss. There, you know, um, poor financial decisions here. Doing something just for the money. Maybe somebody married for money or they did something for money. They could have stolen. There's poor judgment. That judgment reverse is a poor judgment call. Somebody has made a poor judgment call. Or they're making a poor judgment call. It, and it's kind of like butting one's nose into somebody else's business. Uh, okay. There's trouble here. We have a troublemaker. There is definitely a troublemaker here. This is somebody that doesn't work well with others, that is disrespectful, um, that is very hostile, that is causing problems. There's a hostile individual here that wants a position. They want money or they, they've they lied about their... Um, what's the word for it? Skills. Um, this is definitely trouble. You're being, you're being told to work with other people, to collaborate elsewhere, to move on. You're being challenged to leave something behind that is not working out. But there's some sort of belief, commitment, obligation, or something that is holding you back, okay? There's a need for you to probably face your fears and focus on the future. Stop waiting. Stop waiting. There's disrespect here. There's a lack of appreciation. And somebody is... I want to feel like... It feels like we have somebody here that is literally causing trouble. And it, I feel like there's a third-party situation here as well. I feel like we have somebody here that is refusing to take a new approach. They uh, are... I feel like they're doing something very, very nasty, very shady, very corrupt. Um, there's a need to refocus. There's a need to stop looking back. Stop looking back. You need to work with other people. Your advice is to take your mask off, okay? Your advice, what you need to do is don't be a victim to the circumstance, okay? Stop staying where you're at. 
remove yourself from the situation. This is self-imposed restrictions. It's like choosing not to see, playing it safe. It's like, I feel comfortable in this position, so I'm going to stay right here. So you're being called to really break free from your own limitations, okay? Don't, don't let fear or familiarity keep you there. You don't have any growth if you stay where you're at okay you don't have any growth you don't you this isn't will not be successful all right um you're being challenged to take a new approach and collaborate communicate and work with other people you know to uh move on from some people or whatever whoever these people are, whether it's family members or work or it's friends or whatever, the challenge is to move on. I can't, I can't make that up. Okay. If they don't support you, if they don't appreciate you, whether, whether it's family, friends, partners, whatever, if you're being, if it's not working out, it's not working out. But that six of swords reverse would suggest trouble in not wanting to take that new approach, even though it's not working out. So somebody is being challenged to get moving. Get moving. Um, you know, this is somebody who doesn't know their value, doesn't know their, doesn't know who they are. That maybe has lost sight of what is what is real. Okay, um, the Queen of Pentacles reversed is maybe somebody needs to go within and refocus on themselves like I said earlier I think I said it I was thinking it anyway there's jealousy here there's jealousy there's gold digging there's somebody that is very selfish shallow possessive um unhealthy only cares about money okay so that's what this is There is somebody in this reading that is trying to hold somebody back or they're trying to uh, bring about a loss. They may want to take something for, from them for some reason. Um, there's somebody here that... It's somebody that is trying to stop something from happening. It's like they're trying to block it. There could be a horrendous loss. We have denial. We have not seeing. We have choosing to ignore. Somebody is ignoring something even though deep down inside they know. That, that it's time to stop, okay? It's time to stop, but they won't stop. So there's somebody here that will not stop. Where is this going? Page of Cups reverse and the Moon reverse. This is not happy, okay? So this is unhappiness. There's disillusionment here. There's reality. There, somebody's about to get some sort of reality check. Truths are going to be revealed. We have somebody here that has not been acknowledging. It's like they're, they haven't been listening they are not very awakened. Maybe they're not very spiritual. Maybe they've been listening to poor counsel. Maybe it's somebody they're married to or somebody they're committed to. Or it's somebody that is a troublemaker that... Um, it's like misery loves company. This is misery loves company right here. That is exactly what this is. You need to refocus. You need to take... There's a mask on a couple of these cards. On the Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords, there's a need to take that mask off, okay? There's a need to open your eyes. And remember, Judgment Reverse is not waking up. It's not seeing. You got to take that mask off and see it for what it is, okay? Don't live in denial. Don't, don't be afraid to make changes that you need to make for yourself, There's somebody in this reading that is only after money. That's all they care about. It's like a gold digger. This is not going anywhere. It's an illusion. It's an app. There is an illusion here. This is a, 
emotionally withdrawn. We have somebody here that sweeps problems under the rug or does things, you know, hides things. Very, 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 very secretive. So there is somebody here that is extremely secretive. They may have addictions. Um... There's emotions all over the place. Extremely emotional. Something is being revealed that was hidden in the very near future. And it's because somebody is un... It's like, almost like they're unwilling to acknowledge the truth or accept accountability or something like that. As far as your money goes, you need to hang on, okay? Don't give up. Keep doing. Don't let fear... The moon can be haters, right? Can be haters, can be people in disguise, the moon in reverse or upright. There could be... Well, it could be lies. It could be extremely disguises, people in disguise, haters, you know, uh, trying to use emotional blackmail. Or something like that. Seriously, I mean, I can't. It is what it is. Your advice is to block, okay? Block and stop. Don't go down. Block, okay? Block. So anyway, I feel in the next few days somebody's being challenged to refocus completely and this does have to do with yourself stop listening to I don't know if it's poor counsel or ignoring your gut or working with people that don't respect you that are disloyal that cause trouble and I feel like there is a group of people here it's like it's they're trying to cause trouble. It's like they're trying to cause trouble. We have an unhappy camper here. This is not happy. And this is false impressions due to disillusionment, right? And it's a no, no. So anyhow, I feel like there's definitely somebody that is in a victim mentality that is not seeing. And I went to clarify the Eight of Swords. It's like they're not seeing something. They're choosing not to. It's like burying the head in the sand and choosing not to see. You know, totally in the dark. But it's a choice. Somebody's been choosing not to see something all they got to do is take the blindfold off and acknowledge. So I do believe that there's a departure or there's some sort of, there's an individual here that is making a decision and they're turning their back on an unhealthy attachment. And I feel like we have somebody here that's going to be going inward to refocus. They could be withdrawing from something that they have been emotionally attached to. I feel like there's a withdrawal here. There's a need to look at things from a new perspective. I feel like we have somebody here that, I don't know if they've been in an unrequited love situation and they've been lying about it, you know, lying about their feelings. There could definitely be a departure or a separation. Somebody could be moving on from something that, you know, has been some sort of illusion. I do have a new perspective here that is coming that, you know, I think it comes from deep thought. I think there's a reality check. I feel like we have somebody here that is realizing something that they chose not to realize in the past. Maybe they, they were blaming instead of accepting accountability. But, and there's been some sort of delays, setbacks, unfortunate events, okay? I mean, with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. I feel like somebody's been in denial about something that is over it's like it's been over it's been over you know or something like that um
Wow. Ten of Pentacles, reverse. This is total ruin, total loss, losing it all. Um, unstable family or business life. So I feel like we have somebody here that, I don't know what, something to do with the home, the money, the bank account. Mary absolutely could have married for money, you know, or married for the roof or moved in for the roof or used somebody just for money. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse is a complete loss. There could be illegal, somebody may have obtained something illegally. We also have somebody here that is planning something. It's like they're planning something deceptively behind the scenes. But I feel like it, I gotta tell you, I feel like there's something that is being exposed. It's like maybe their character is being exposed or something like that. We have truths being revealed about a relationship that is one-sided. Somebody's thinking about everything that has happened and there's definitely some sort of uh, loss here. There's unfortunate, there's bad news. Somebody's trying to... I want to I want to say block somebody or take something from somebody. You know, that's what I see. Pay attention to your finances. We have Pisces here quite a bit with the Knight of Cups reversed, the Moon and the Hangman. We also have Cancer, Scorpio, um with the Knight of Cups. We have the we have Leo. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody committed to something, and I feel like now there's a lot of fighting, hostilities, stress, disrespect, and it's they're not nobody's on the same page. It feels like there's a there's a lot of uh, trouble. Okay, it's a lot of strife. Time to go within, time to focus, refocus, master your emotions, wake up, wake up. It's time to move on from that poor judgment call. You can't ignore it. Stop ignoring it. You can't ignore it. It's time to come up with a plan and look at things completely differently. So anyway, in the next 24 hours, I feel like we, we have a, a revelation, honestly. Realizing something. Somebody's realizing something, maybe about a lover or a person that wooed them. Uh, what's the word for that? You know, they, they wooed them. They courted them or they swept them off their feet with all of their charm and sweetness and words and it's like this is an awakening of some sort I also feel like we have somebody here that has somebody coming that is a protector. Now, I don't know who that is that, that is. I feel like there's some sort of protector here. I mean, the emperor is a protector as well, but the emperor protects their people. You know, could be a father, could be a judge, could be somebody in a position of authority. This is somebody that is ready. They're ready to bat battle. They're ready to protect so I feel like somebody's there's something about protection here things will not always be this way a change is coming get prepared I feel like there is a departure I feel like somebody is making a decision to leave something and there's money and greed and selfishness as well so anyway I would say that there's somebody here that is not you that is trying to stop somebody or is trying to take something from somebody that isn't theirs and I feel like I feel like this person is 
well, the Wheel of Fortune reverses an unfortunate loss. There is an unfortunate loss here. But everything changes. Be patient. It says things will not always be this way. This is an exchange of some sort. It's a card of timing. going with the flow and it's remember at the beginning we had judgment reverse which is lack of acceptance to have peace and harmony you have to accept things you have to be willing to evolve and you have to let things happen in time kind of like the caterpillar right something about timing Somebody's been lying about something and I feel like it's they've been thinking about it a lot. Maybe they married something or they were just too focused on money. They've been in denial, complete denial about the whole situation. Not happy at all. Somebody's not happy at all. Anyhow, I feel like something's going to be revealed. Okay, it could be very emotional. Okay, there could be an emotional reveal here. Um, five of Pentacles, clarifying the Queen of Pentacles reverse. That is some sort of hardship. It's hard times. It's financial burden, needing help. Somebody needs help. Anyhow, we do have denial, we have a blockage, we have a delays, we have setbacks, we have a major loss. Um, there's heartbreak here, it's sad, there's disillusionment, there's something being exposed. Somebody is probably going to have a lot of regrets for... Not moving on or not making the right judgment call. Good luck. 